Welcome to another session of Business Data Science with Dalali. And guess what? Today, we are going to talk about a very important topic, especially in the world of AI and, you know, generative AI, large language models, where people are depending on chatbots and their output and all of that. I want to talk about hallucination. Yes, hallucination. I think many of you know about hallucination. And today, I'm going to talk about hallucination and why it's kind of really inevitable uh, you know, in large language models just, just because of statistical reasons, okay? I'm going to talk a little bit about that and also confirm the things that OpenAI actually has published about a month ago in their own research that hallucination is kind of unavoidable. This is something that some of us who are traditional statisticians, we have been talking about this for a long time, uh, but People have not been admitting that, so it's it's really good to hear now uh, that you know developers of big models like ChatGPT or GPT family are now also talking about hallucination and the reason why it can't be fully, fully, fully uh, you know avoided. Okay, so let's start. What is hallucination? Okay, well, in the context of large language models like GPT, you know hallucination are actually situations where the model, again the AI model in this case, uh, gives outputs that are actually factually incorrect, okay, sometimes fabricated, or they are not grounded in the training data that the model was fed with, okay. So that's hallucination and the thing is that the model makes it appear as if you know the answer that they are generation they are generating or the output that they are actually giving is actually very true because what the model can be very very confident and show as if the the response they are giving are actually very plausible okay now hallucination is a big problem in large language models and this is something that many people already know but the question is what are some of the causes of hallucination this is very important for us to actually understand uh you know what hallucination is well number one is because of training data limitations right if the model hasn't been trained with accurate data then it may guess the response and you know and sometimes this leads to uh, hallucination so training data limitation is number one number two is nest talking prediction and keep in mind LLMs don't know the facts. They are only predicting the most likely sequence of words. This is very important and I want that to sink. They are actually only predicting the most likely sequence of words. And sometimes this leads to fabrications. That's just what it is. Okay. Number three is prompt ambiguity. So sometimes when you are prompting, you know, the AI system to then give you answers or generate output for you. Sometimes if you are not very clear with the prompt that you are giving, okay, if your prompt is very vague, it can cause the model to actually, you know, invent some missing details and come up with its own thing, okay? That's just what it is, okay? So that's the number three reason. And then finally, lack of grounding, okay? So sometimes without the AI model having an external contest or what we call tools like maybe in a retrieval system or connecting to some api to get the information that they need to answer they will just make things up so lack of grounding is also another reason why uh, you know ai systems uh, especially large language models hallucinate so in a nutshell hallucinations are just confidently wrong outputs that are generated by LLMs due to the way they predict tests rather than actually knowing the truth, okay? Now, so knowing that hallucination exists, what are some of the ways to really mitigate hallucination? Four common ways uh, to actually mitigate hallucination, again, not to fully prevent it, to mitigate it, okay? Four common ways that I'm gonna share with you. Number one is using retrieval augmented generation or rag okay this is very popular technique that most people use in developing chatbots but this actually helps you ground the model in external data up-to-date 
you know sources okay the way to do this is like you build a system that when an answer is asked or when a question is asked you know the ai system will actually go and retrieve information from an external source provided to it and then use that to put in a context window to compose answers okay that is retrieval augmented generation it's one way to actually mitigate hallucination because once you can keep your sources very fresh and very accurate you will help the ai system in composing or generating what better and more accurate answers so that's number one okay number two is having what we call human in the loop so having expert constantly verifying critical output and making sure that these outputs are right and then correcting the system whenever they see wrong outputs so over time the system learns to get better so human in the loop is the second way to try to mitigate uh, you know hallucinations okay the third one is model fine tuning okay so you can align your llm models with domain specific truths or sources so that they over time they become good for example if this model is supposed to be answering questions in fraud you can align this model by fine-tuning it to what fraud concept if this is supposed to be about law or legal matters you can fine-tune this model to then know more about what legal matters okay and then finally you can mitigate hallucination by also uh, doing what we call confidence calibration okay confidence calibration so you can build a model such that you know every hour through that the model spits out you can kind of have like a confidence coefficient with it so if the model is you know given an output that is, is like only 20 percent confident about you will know before you use it right so that kind of confidence calibration and letting the model you know tell you the uncertainty uh, of the answers they are producing is also what very helpful so four ways okay using rag or retriever augmented generation human in the loop model fine-tuning and then confidence uh, you know calibration okay now again these are ways to what mitigate uh, hallucination in addition to all the things that we already know about hallucination here is my most important point of this video open ai the company that built chat gpt has done intensive research and have concluded that large language models will always hallucinate just because of how they are trained just because of the statistical and mathematical properties behind their training and this is what i want to share with all of you this research has been done just about a month ago okay where people in open ai conducted the research look at the abstract so it says like like students facing hard exam questions large language models sometimes guess okay and of course if you are writing an exam and you don't know the answer it's always better for you to guess than to not answer the questions at all because guess what if you guess your answers maybe they might be correct so it increases your chances of having higher 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 score on the test than not even answering at all and that's the reason why no matter what whether or not uh, you know the system knows the question uh, the, uh, the answer it will still you know write some answer it will still hallucinate but that's because that's how the model is trained that's the reward system uh, based on which the model is trained the model is trained to provide answers to what every prompt or every response okay so by default just just for that concept the model will hallucinate we can avoid it we can only avoid hallucination if we actually completely change the reward system and again we don't like to go into very technical uh, in our video here but guess what look at all of this hallucinations need not be what mysterious because what we, we we believe that the way we are training the system will, will cause them to to hallucinate okay so look at this abstract uh, and, and, and see in fact open ai actually uh, are now saying that the only way to actually mitigate hallucination is by what modifying the scoring of existing benchmarks that are misaligned okay because those existing benchmarks are based on what the model uh, you know providing answers to every question so if we don't modify that we can really uh, avoid what hallucination now let me actually summarize for you 
the five major reasons according to open ai's paper why hallucinations are actually statistically inevitable okay number one because of statistical learning and density estimation limitations okay statistical learning and density estimation limitations i mean actually during pre-training what a large language model is effectively doing is to estimate the probability distribution over all plausible tests okay now even if training data were to be perfect right i mean if there are no factual errors models must still make errors guess what because generating valid output without hallucination is much much harder than simply classifying whether the candidate outputs are valid or not okay so for that major reason you know hallucinations are bound to happen i mean even for many facts or prompts in the real world okay there is simply inefficient data in the training uh, corpora so for example somebody's birthday or somebody's dissertation title i mean you don't have a lot of that maybe they're only occurring once or twice you know in your data and so you cannot have any pattern to make predictions and so for that reason the model has very weak or no basis at all uh, to actually predict things reliably okay so for this reason hallucination is really really uh, you know inevitable okay so that's number one number two is i think i mentioned this earlier on is the reason of what evaluation incentives that are actually used today okay today the evaluation incentives that we have actually rewards guessing okay because most benchmarks today and most leaderboards are using what we call binary scoring so it's either correct versus incorrect so it's binary scoring and there is no reward for uncertainty or even saying i don't know and so for that reason the only way to improve performance is truly uh, to try to guess to hallucinate in those situations so that your reward will be higher okay so that's the number two reason okay number three reason is what i call the epistemic uncertainty and inherent ambiguity in data okay i mean some facts are just inherently very uncertain or they're just missing in the real world okay they are not present in the training data the model has no way of knowing them okay so this epistemic uncertainty means that at some point the model has what to guess and that's what we call hallucination okay so that's number three and then number four is the trade-off between you know model coverage model diversity and avoiding errors okay so if you restrict your model too much so that the, the answers are very very good guess what is happening your model becomes very very conservative and and so you know it will not respond to many situations the model will not be diverse okay and so you know the application of the model really 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 falls so if you make the model extremely conser conservative the coverage and the use usefulness of the model drop significantly so it make it not really practical use okay and so to actually make the model more diverse and more useful you have to almost you know relax some of the constraints you have to generate full rich responses which then increases the risk uh, of making factual errors okay so that's just what it is okay and then finally come on guys training data is imperfect garbage in garbage out I mean, when people are writing LinkedIn articles or, you know, Wikipedia, they are not caring about you coming to, you know, use this model to, to train your, you know, to train your LM system. So there's, there's that garbage in, garbage out situation here where the, the, the data itself contains factual errors. So the responses that LM will bring will also be what? Factually wrong. And the model, again, is just writing and learning from the data provided to it. So that's just what it is, right? So today I have discussed with you the reality of hallucination, what it is and what we know what it is to be, how we can actually, uh, you know, minimize it. And the recent learning and publication from OpenAI, which says that 
truly hallucination is kind of inevitable uh, in practice just based on the reason that uh, you know i've listed okay so the five reasons that i gave are number one statistical learning and density estimation limitations number two um evaluation incentives uh, especially how rewards are, are, are allocated um number three the epistemic uncertainty and inherent ambiguity in uh, you know actual data that we use to train models and then the trade-off that's number four the trade-off between coverage diversity and you know the errors that uh, you know these LLM models will, will give us and then number five training data imperfections what, what, what I call garbage in garbage out and number six uh, is the calibration constraints uh, also uh, you know doesn't make it uh, easier for this model to not hallucinate okay so what does this mean to you in the real world number one even very well trained large language models okay models that are trained on near perfect data will sometimes hallucinate and so the end user must just understand and accept the fact that llm models will sometimes hallucinate and must put processes in place to live with that okay it is just what it is okay that's number one we just need to know that this is what it means for us practically number two we must constantly find ways to minimize hallucination so ways like i described before uh you know using methods like retrieval augmented generation uh doing human in the loop uh you know making sure that you you align the model to the business context that you are actually applying it for like fine tuning the model you can do all of that okay but ultimately this will just mitigate uh, the hallucination but will not take it out completely and to really 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 take out hallucination uh, you must actually even change the scoring system the reward system that we give today to LLMs during training so I hope this is helpful uh, and uh, leave your questions and comments and we will connect later bye bye